So we are nearly at that point in the renovation where we are ready for carpets. Unfortunately, we have got one last little job to do, and that is to fix this dodgy step. Hiya folks, welcome back to the show. In this episode, I'm just going to kind of talk you through my approach to fixing this dodgy step that we've got. We certainly can't fit brand new carpets on a step like this. Everything else is all done in the house. All the skirtings are done, the architraves are done, all the floorboards are firmly screwed down and I've checked for squeaks and all that sort of thing. And as I say, the last job is to fix this very dodgy step that literally feels like you're gonna fall through it. I'm amazed we haven't gone all the way through this at some point during the renovation. There's literally just nothing holding it together. So uh, yeah, let's get this sorted. Luckily we can get access via this understairs cupboard, it just means a removal of a whole load of lath and plaster that was about to fall off anyway. If you're doing a similar job this really is the best means of access if it is an option. So here's the problem step and it's immediately apparent what the problem is. The entire bottom section of the riser has snapped off and as such there's nothing supporting that step at all. There's also another riser on a different step that's cracked along its entire length so we'll fix that while we're at it. Other than that the woodwork looks brand new. It's as good as the day it was installed with no signs of rot or inset damage which is great news. The structure itself is absolutely solid, unfortunately they've just used timber that's a bit too thin for these risers and something had to give. As you can see, this was really on the verge of completely falling apart. At some point someone has attempted to bodge repair using a single nail, but in all honesty that's probably caused more problems than it's solved. All of the other steps are solid, but I'm still going to beef up the support from below while I can get access. It just makes sense while I've got all of this open. So this is the problematic riser, and as you can just about see, the entire bottom section of it has fallen off. Along with that, it's only a matter of time before this other step gives up the ghost too. So if I show you how this is constructed from this picture here, I can explain what the problem is and what I'm going to do to try and fix everything. So basically, 
each of the steps on the kind of leading up to the half landing we've got a tread that comes across here and this is this tread here this is the problematic step and you can see it's completely come away from the riser this is the riser at the back here and it's completely come away from the riser here to the point that you can literally see daylight through it and basically what's happened is this tread also has this little diagonal kind of filler bit at the back here and all of that should be rebated into the bottom of this riser but because the bottom of that riser has kind of snapped off over the years effectively this triangular section well this entire back section isn't supported by anything so this entire step area only has a tiny area of support here and obviously it's got a bigger area of support over on the left hand side of the step and it's a similar story with all of these angled steps so again here's the tread for this one there's the main tread coming across it's only got a tiny area of support on the right it's got a reasonable area of support on the left but other than that, it's just held into a little rebate on the riser at the back. And then again, we've got this kind of kite shaped insert here, which along its entire length is held into a rebate in this riser. This riser is okay, but this is the one that has a crack going all down the middle of it. So I don't particularly trust it. That will become a problem over time. And again, even on this step down here, similar story. Where's the join? The join, I think there's the join of the tread. So that's the main stair tread there held in on the right there and on the left there. And then again, we've got this kind of triangular infill and that's held in a, a rebate against this riser here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put supports under every section of this that I can get to basically. So starting from the very top, I'm going to put a wooden, a new piece of wood, like a wooden batten effectively, about 40 by 40 batten under this corner section at the top here. And that'll be screwed and glued through from the top and in from the front. This is all going to be done from the underside. Obviously, you'll not see anything from this side other than the screw heads. Obviously, if you're going to want like wooden treads that people can see, then this isn't a kind of repair that you can do because there's going to be screw heads all over the place. But once carpet's down, um, you're not going to be able to see any of that and it's going to be a really, really solid repair. So as I say, there'll be a corner piece glued and screwed in at the top there. That will just provide a little bit of extra support for the top riser. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to screw and glue a board to the back of this riser just to beef it up and stop any future splitting or anything like that in case that decides to give way even further. And then under the problem step, so under here, I'm going to put a new support beam all the way across. It doesn't need to be like huge but it's it's a, a reasonable size piece of wood all the way under here to support that step so that this step is no longer relying on this riser for support and then other than that what i'm also going to do is i'm going to beef up the steps and the risers that i can get to so basically i'm going to glue and screw boards to here uh, along here just to stop any future splitting of the wood. So glue and screw a board there. I'm gonna glue and screw a kind of kite shaped board under here, just to again, make it nice and solid. And I'm gonna put one on the back of this riser just to stop any potential splitting of that and another triangular support section under this as well. And once that's all glued and screwed and the glue's gone off, this will be the most solid staircase that you've ever seen. Let's get on with it and get this fixed.
Little tip for you here, I'm using a combination of wood glue and CA glue with activator. If you're not aware, CA glue, it's like magic. It's basically super glue and when you use it with a spray activator, it goes off almost immediately. Works really well with wood, gives a very, very strong joint. I do think that wood glue is a better long-term solution than CA glue, probably because CA glue is a little bit brittle. But to save Mrs. Mac's arms, this will temporarily tack the support in place while I screw it from above. The wood glue will then provide the more long-term support along with the screws. I'm using 18mm ply for all the support pieces along with plenty of glue and screws. And that's it all done. Extra support for the risers, extra support for the treads, a new additional support between the top riser and tread, a new C24 support beam all the way under the broken step. That support beam is screwed and glued in place and it's also wedged at the far end so it really isn't going anywhere. The triangle and kite shaped supports are all screwed and glued in place so there should be no further cracking of the risers or treads and from the top I countersunk all the screw heads. I'll not walk on this for a day or so to allow the glue to fully go off and that's us then ready for carpets. Ultimately the underside of the stairs will be fully reboarded with fire rated plasterboard to provide the appropriate fire barrier between the house and what will become the carriage so really that lath and plaster had to come off anyway. Hopefully this is now repaired to a level where the staircase will outlast the rest of the house. Certainly the timber is all looking absolutely great, tip top condition. Let me know in the comments what you think, let me know if you've got any extra tips for a job like this. Give the video a quick like and don't forget to subscribe. Take care folks, I shall see you next time. Tatty bye!